Welcome to round three with um, Bug Atraxa. Uh, our luck has turned and sadly only rolled a one this round. Uh, what do you think about this hand? Um, it's a very mid rangey hand. Uh, well, it would obviously be better with a Mana Dork. Um, I think it's still a keep though. Um, Uh, hopefully we're going to be playing against like a Delver deck where Strix and Decay are good. Uh, so let's keep it. Against Miracles this would be a pretty good hand, I think. Ah, oh, is that a Tundra I see before me? Hmm, okay. Well, let's check out the Misty, try and vaguely disguise what we're on. Okay, so we could try and play the Sylvan Library into a potential counter spell. Um, I think they run about two counter spells there. And probably uh, it's not too worried about days. They might force of will the library, but I think that's a reasonable trade for us. Uh, some people occasionally run a spell snare, but I think the snare's going to get the library anyway. Um, uh, the alternative, well, I guess we don't really have any good alternatives. Maybe, maybe they, maybe their plan is to cast a counter balance next turn and we can just decay it. Um, Brainstorm's the only card in my hand that's really going to be caught by that. Yeah, I think we just wipe the library down. If they are miracles, we can sort of invest some life into this, uh, draw some cards. Okay, so we want a blue source. Uh, we really want our own Tundra, but we don't run those. So I guess we fetch Trop. And let's see if this resolves. Probably won't, but... It is what it is. <coughs> ah, excellent. So, we are playing as Miracles and a uh, Force of Wilbur. Okay, so they play their counterbalance. Which we definitely, I mean, we didn't force that because um, uh, I think the scariest card that they could play at the moment is Jace. There's a chance we don't even care about this. Um, so we could just true name. Like I, I kind of like holding on to the Decay in case they have a, a Mentor. Um, I suppose technically we have Force for that, we could pitch the Brainstorm. Um, so, see, they don't know the top of their deck. Uh, we could try and run the True Name out. If they Brainstorm in response, then... Uh, it's pretty greedy, but we could Force. Uh, or we could just pass the turn, Decay the Counterbalance, then cast the true name. Uh, what's the right play? Or there's my personal favourite of pass the turn and then click them end of turn. Um, but I think just playing the true name now is better than that if that was our plan. Because uh, end of turn click's still going to be hit by, you know, like brainstorm, put that mentor. Uh, yeah, maybe we just go with the safe, super conservative line um, of decay on this. I, I don't like passing the turn without, like, I don't like waiting an extra turn to put the clock down, but it's just so bad for us if uh, if they have the three. Uh, second counter balance. Well, hmm. How does that change things? Well, we only have one decay, uh, so maybe we now need to just hold the decay. We could force this. 
decay um oh, that seems so bad though it should hold the force for something higher impact uh, I guess we could just cleat now we could cleat us but I think our hands would be good so it's not great yeah I think we just kind of get under there and see uh, yeah, I want the second blue source. Yeah, I obviously need the second blue source. Let's just run the weak out. So it would be nice to have saved this for a miracle. Okay, so they're at the top. Alright, I think we just need to aggro our opponents out. We'll look at what's in their hand. Okay, so we do have the Jace, Council of Dovrant, and Terminus. I think we have to leave them with those cards. Um, can maybe take the Jace. We have a force for the Jace. This Terminus is essentially a dead card as long as they don't draw Brainstorm. Uh, the Council of Dovrant is a I mean, it is an answer to our true name, but well, it's not very efficient. I guess maybe we take advantage of the fact that they have one on top. So I think we just let this resolve. I guess we could consider countering the top. Oh, it's probably bad though. Ah, excellent. Okay, so I think now we just slam the true name. We have two force of wills, we just have to hope kill our opponent very fast. Uh, so this cleat's going to put our opponent to 16, and then fortunately it's a three turn clock after that. Um, man, I wonder if we. I wonder if we force a will that, that top. I guess next turn. They're, so they're going to draw the top, they're probably going to cancel his judgement. Um, the true name. This is normally more aggressive than I like to play. Oh, interesting, they played the top. Huh. Okay, well I think we need to hold the force for the cancel judgement and Jace. Uh, I mean, standard advice is that force of will in the top is really bad anyway. Um, I think this is fine. <laughs> I think if they find a terminus, we're going to have to just force of will that too um, until we, well if we drew a second abrupt game that would change everything but uh, not doing that so let's just bash and hope this is enough So fine if they drop a mentor. Council judgment. Uh, I mean, there is an argument for not forcing here, but I'm not interested in that argument. Oh, it's pretty bad. Okay, well, I assume they take the uh, true name. Um, maybe we should have brainstormed in response. Yeah, that'd be a bit too clever. I guess we can do... Alright, okay, so next thing we have to force, I think we're going to decay the top first. Uh, or we could decay the top now. 
And then if they flip top, what do they vote for? This. For the right one to vote for. So maybe we decay the top. If they flip top, then fine. Uh, in response, we can brainstorm, try and set something up. Not really clear what we would be setting up, but it's possible this is just a little too deep. <laughs> Like, if we get rid of the top, then that's also pretty good. Right, so they're guaranteed not to draw a land next turn. Um, they are going to draw a force, though. Oh, I guess uh, I was going to end turn brainstorm, wasn't I? Because we know that the brainstorm's going to resolve. Ugh. Got a little bit too deep in my thoughts. Hmm. Oh, man, that's such a good draw as well. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, well, we need to make the line drop this turn, then maybe we can try and play the chase next turn. And then we want to hold Force of Will... Okay, so let's swing with this. So the handle is Force of Will, Jace, Terminus, and then. So the hand is Jace, Terminus. What did they reveal? Did they reveal anything? Interesting. Games usually go a bit longer than that. So, if our opponent's good, then they're going to cut their um, counterbalances. Uh, so, Rex Age might not be worth bringing in. Um, I think probably we'll start with bringing in the Rex Age. Uh, but we need to sort of pay attention to what our opponent's doing. Um, so they're going to bring in red blasts versus us, so we're going to bring in blue blasts to hit their red blasts. Um, Decay's are good, so fatal, fatal push is very bad. Uh, Sublime are good, Strix is a blue card. Jite, I think we do leave our Jites in. Um, What if we cut a Strix? Some of the most underwhelming threat. I think the cut is. Uh, I can see it's also cutting mana dorks. Um, they encourage us to play into Terminus. So let's cut a Hierarch. And uh, yeah, at least Strix draws as a card. Uh, yeah, I think this looks pretty good. Anything else I'll consider doing? Yeah, I mean, like, Flusterstorm, maybe. Um, depends a little bit on build. If they're running in Treat, then I like Flusterstorm a little bit better. Surgical, yeah. Meddling Mage. I don't think I like Meddling Mage. Um, yeah, let's leave it like this. Uh, this hand is bad. Um, I think we need to mulligan this. I think we can do better than this many lands. Uh, this hand is also bad, but I think we'll keep. Haha, this hand is good.
Um, yeah, it's a little bit, unfortunately, you don't have the black source of the abrupt decay. I mean, I think we'll just naturally draw it. Uh, I think we want to develop our mana before we start targeting his, although uh, Volcanic Island is um, a very fine wasteland target in this matchup. Depends a bit if he's running Caracas too, because Caracas is quite an efficient answer to uh, live old. Uh, but yeah, let's just develop the mana. Um, if they go for the turn two counterbalance, we're not going to force will it. I think we will. I think we can do better with our forces. Okay, and they're not going to do that. Um, there's a reasonable chance that turn two we just want to uh, wasteland and bash for one. Uh, it depends a little bit on what we draw. Oh, tundra. That seems astonishingly bad from our opponent. Uh, okay, so we've got the. Uh, the black source now. Um, Prefer wastelanding once we've established some kind of board presence, or as a way to clear the way for a blue threat. Uh, I think maybe we'll just make the delta pass. The second trop is a little bit superfluous, so we have like one card that we can try and shuffle away. Uh, okay, so what do you think? If we brainstorm now, is he going to try and red blast? We might do. I mean, maybe we want to. Hmm. I think there's probably a case to be made for uh, wasting next turn um, just to keep our opponent off uh, Jace Manor. Uh, I've used the Brainstorm, and that's a blue card. Uh, I think we are the aggressor in this matchup, so I think we should probably do something about that. Okay, these are really good cards. Um, I think next turn I'm going to do Wasteland and play the Shaman. Uh, uh, how much do we care about Force? Like, Jace is the only thing I'm really scared of, I think. Um, and I think I like all the other cards. So we'll... Nah, maybe I should have shuffled away the Trot. Maybe I shuffle both of these. No, I want the extra land. Yeah, because if I waste land, that's yeah. Yeah, that's that's simply as more. Yeah, I think we'll go for the red source. Uh, means our Jace is a little bit more up to resolve. Although, you know, they they probably have a second vault and we can get another one here. Uh, yeah, so we have second main phase. Yeah, that's just wasting time. <clears throat> right. So I guess we know that the top card of our library is Fort Software. Um, if they make a mentor here, then I think we'll just. Oh, sure, okay, that makes our um, Jace a little bit worse. I think these are very, very poor source to show up power shares targets for our opponent. I think next turn we're going to want to just make the true name. So maybe what we'll do is we'll draw the force. Um, we can pitch the Jace. This needs to be... So we can scrub land with this. Uh, yeah, and then at least we sort of have all of our colors. Okay, force X on Foster Storm. I don't think we force back here. I mean, they still have Terminus in their deck to potentially answer this. Um, like, Force of Will is a card you don't really want to be casting. 
So there's the four mana. Uh, they're going to try and make their own Jace. Like, I think we definitely have to force their Jace if they make one. If they make Mentor, then I think we'd just be cared. Yeah, All right, so we'll force Spadone. Uh, that's not an ideal draw. I think we'll hold that in case we draw Brainstorm and see what our opponent's last card is. If another Jace, we're probably going to lose. Uh, if we draw Greensun's end of the next turn, then we will play the iron Greensun's to live all. Yeah, that's what we did. Uh, I mean, this might just get Fluster Stormed, but yeah. Or Counterspelled, or Snapcaster Fluster Storm. No, I guess he picks the Fluster Storm, so that's not going to happen. Little old. Line number one. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, so let's see, our opponent could cast a another Snapcaster Mage and Gang Block. Uh, we could the K. Uh, they can cast a cleek. As before, I think we'll hold the savannah. <coughs> we might just jump here. It'll be a little bit awkward using our um, abrupt decay to keep the live all alive, but I think the card is sufficiently good in this matchup that it's worth doing so. Okay, cool. Oh, how much do we want to lose to Terminus? <laughs> I don't care. I guess they would need two. Yeah. Uh, I just don't know if there's a way that we can cast this while leaving up uh, Rupp Decay. There is, if we play our land. Uh, maybe I do. Maybe I want to draw cards, let me draw cards! Okay, so the Snapcaster is flashing back a total of nothing. It is pretty awkward, but I think I'm just going to decay uh, the Snapcaster. I think my opponent has nothing. Although, I guess they've got three cards in their hand that aren't lands. Um, hmm. No, I think, I think this is fine. I think we need to just hold the decay for something like that. Oops. Oh, this was a misplay. I should have waited until they, uh, until they blocked. But he's going to block anyway because he doesn't want me to draw a card. No, really? I think you block there. Set this to always yes, always yield. Ooh. Well, bad things can still happen. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if they've shuffled away. Do you just do nothing? Hmm. Uh, maybe we'll wait on this. Right, I don't think we really want to commit more threats to the board. Yeah, okay. Uh, do we wait another turn? Uh, just got hard cast force world. Yeah. We might even do an end of turn brainstorm. To, yeah.
Swords 2 Plowshares, talking Leobolds. Well, we are definitely going to draw a card. And then maybe... Uh, we'll just hard cast the Force. It's pretty bad if he drops a Jace. Um, yeah, I think we let this happen. Okay. If he's setting up a terminus here, then we don't actually care that much. Uh, he didn't get much value out of one of these snapcasters. Uh, sure. I will do, do. Uh, I think we can brainstorm now. Ooh, it's pretty bad. Uh, so let's get rid of this and this. The Strix is a good draw. And then it's a blue card that we can pitch. Uh, I think we need to play out the fetch line there. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so I think we just pass the turn here. Um, we still have hard cast force of will if that's something that we want. Uh, that Volcanic Island is a pretty nice target for our Wasteland. Obviously not the block here. What could possibly be in our opponent's hand? Uh, let's go to C. Yeah, it's not a stellar draw. Um, I think we will... We do the waste now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Yeah, I think we'll waste and pass the turn. Let's say I'm still a bit worried about my opponent just dropping a Jace or you know, like an entreat or something like that. Mental would be pretty good on the current board state. Um, then maybe next turn we run out of the Strix. Yeah, I hope the Snapcasters don't just get there as you run to play a bit faster. Like, I suppose they're basically, I mean, their board beats our board, so they don't need to do anything until we do something. Okay, that's Greens and Zenith. Uh, I think we just Greensons for Leovold. Uh, I think I'm fine running out of this. Just keep mana up. I guess this could just get counter spelled. Yeah, it's actually a roll. And pass the turn. Now that at least shuts down their cantrips. Um, I am expecting a terminus soon. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's there. Yep. Yeah. It's fine. I mean, the green suns went back into our deck. We're pretty happy putting these guys back. And the other. <coughs> Is our opponent going to try and make a chase? Nope, they're just going to do nothing. <laughs> Wonder if it's worth running out the uh, Piffling Needle and seeing if they crack their flooded strands. Certainly, you uh, shut some off chase. I mean, they must have a tendency to divine top still in the deck. Like, why would you cut that? That seems ridiculous. Pretty need make clock, but uh, it's clock. Uh, it's a much better clock. Uh, I don't think we want to drop the shield there. Okay, so we're going to try and do something. Gideon, ally of Zendikar, uh, with two mana suspiciously left open. Uh, 
think we'll just make a pithing needle for that. Um, and then we can fight over that. Oh, they probably have wear tears in their deck though, so maybe this is bad. Maybe we're losing. Predict. Uh, yeah, that's when we have getting some resources back. But if they're predicting here, then I think it's because they want to force it all. Did they actually draw two from that? Draws a card. Uh, <laughs> well done. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm not even going to name since it's on top of this, so... <laughs> they are Force of Willing at the Pithing Needle. Exile and Force of Will. Uh, which man have we got? One, two, three, four... Ah, so I can't force and play true name. Uh, does the true name race this? Uh, but then we have to drop the shield. Uh, yeah, I think we're just going to true name. Uh, yeah, I'm going to play quickly. Let's do that. Uh, you. Um, and I'm actually just going to attack them, I think. Seven. That was probably wrong. I think we probably do need to clear this. Uh, it's going to be bad if they make a Jace here. Uh, token's not even over there. Uh, well, there's a Rex Age. I think they probably have... What does this do? So this attacks for 5-5 five five with Indestructible sort of player. Yeah. Uh, so we could do 4. So they're basically dead this turn. We can fetch Dried Arbor to surprise block this. <clears throat> um, I think I would force a will of Terminus. Uh, yeah, sure. Their last card is a uh, counter spell, then it's pretty bad, or Red Blast, or something like that. Nope, it's not. Yep. Let's confirm this does not have trample. Uh, yep, so we can just uh, block this. We also have the abrupt decay for one of these. Um, I think. Yeah. Why cast it if you don't need to? Yep, okay, cool. So they might uh, Source of Flash as one of these to try and stay alive. If they do that, then you will just. Uh, Brought to K in response. Yep, cool. <coughs> Pretty interesting.